I'm Mark Ford, guitar player, first musician, songwriter, singer. I got to play with a lot of great bands, The Burning Tree, The Black Crows, Ben Harper. Music is what I do. I'm doing it the hardest I can, I think most of the time, just because I love it so much. Being an artist, you make art. You make art whether people are listening or not, you, whether people are buying it or not. You just, that's what you do. But when it's your living also, it's your job, and it is work, and food's gotta get on the table. And uh, it can be tough. It wasn't preconceived at all. I just wanted to make a record. It's always been hard. It just has been different. Digital music is where the world's going. I mean, no one was really getting paid very much for their songs ever, and now it's worse. I knew about crowdfunding, and I never considered it. A friend of mine, he goes, just do a Kickstarter, and he had just done one. We sat down, worked out a budget that we thought was really what it would take, and it was a pretty substantial number. The biggest thrill of Kickstarter was that I had booked the only time available at the studio because I knew that I wanted to make the record there. So I got the dates and then started the Kickstarter way too late. So that the ending date, even to find out if I knew I was going to get any money at all, was after the studio time started. It was hairy. John, John, Mike. Antoine, Antoine John. John Vanderslice, he's a quirky, odd, extraordinary fellow. He's made his own records for a long time, and I just love the experience. This is good. Let me show you where we're going. Forest of green. You know it won't grow. The budget was 40 grand. Although records can be made for way cheaper, I wanted to really utilize a studio the way it was when I first started. There's tape running, there's no computers in there these incredible microphones, preamps, the amplifiers, and then a guy who really knows what he's doing to operate all that. And then getting a band out of town, it's expensive. So it was a little scary you know, to ask for it. But then I just like, this is what it's gonna cost to, to do what I would really love to do, and let's see what happens. I know. All right, let's make music. Let's, let's make just... some music. Neptune Blues Club. We started playing together like 12 years ago. There's Antoine I met first the drummer, and we have John Baz. He's the original bass player for the Blasters. And Mike Malone's been playing blues for years, and I get to play a certain way with those certain people. John is a very methodical guy. Going to two-inch tape again, and all that entails, there's not so many do-overs. He keeps only one take of anything. That's it, that's awesome, man. He would get everybody out for 10, sunlight for 10 minutes. Perfect, let's get some sunshine. Get out of my room. He has his way. We were about to record a song, and then it happened. Boom, $40,013. It's humbling to ask for the money and then to get it. It makes you walk into the studio and make a new one with your head high, you know? Going right on, these people want a record, let's give it to them. Now what about when you're singing? I just lay out. No, you, you, you can, yeah, that, that, that's cool. I knew there was a couple songs that we could hang the record on, and I knew that the rest would come. We're all good at what we do, and it's time to work. Just make decisions and do it. I knew John could do that too. Can we change those two symbols? I'm sorry. They're a little out of character with the kit. Of course there's tension. He likes to 
take you out of your comfort zone. So you tell me to put all of my drums away. It's intense and people are laying themselves on the line. You go to the for every single time. And it just gets to be too much after a while. Especially at the speed that we were doing things. Well, I have no clue. That's the part where we Well, yeah, I know, I know. What? Can't get defensive. What'd you do? I just did the verse. But with the F in it? Well, it bugs me to f it up more than a couple of times in a row. Yeah, there were a couple of moments. But you expect that. Sing. Sing, come here and sing in my ear. Mark, come here. He's going to show you on a guitar. Or, or just, just sing it with me at that part. Okay. So I know what's going on. That time hanging out and getting through it, a band gets better, and it translates into music. The other thing about John is that he's got this studio in this sort of sketchy part of the Mission District right under the freeway, and there's like 30 businesses in there. One's a school, and there's this old woman in. She's been taking care of these kids, teaching them alternative education. We could hear them in the microphones we went out and saw them playing at recess. John goes, hey, have you ever seen a recording studio? And then she brought them all in the studio. They walked through and they got to really just explore. Hey, let's, uh, let's show you different microphones. Hey guys, come up here, I'll show you a microphones. And it was amazing to see them just light up. Yeah, it took an hour on this tight thing, but that, of course, brought something into the studio for whatever we did after that. I think that was the heart of the session. All right, folks, well, we gotta go back to school. We gotta go back to school. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We are on The Vulture and we're... The title of the record is The Vulture. I knew that it was special, but I hadn't put the pieces together until the last minute. And it was, and the recording of it was, it was powerful. The band left a few days earlier than I did, so they drove away and left me there for a few more days. And um, after we were done recording, I left. John did it on his own, mixed three days. I get to be a guitar player and a singer, and I get to pay attention to my gig. I like giving the producer his thing. You have permission to do anything you want. It worked out perfect. That the power of like having an idea and dreaming it and aiming and just going for it. I end up with the people I wanted to bring and the record I wanted to make to get to have people that have enjoyed what I've been doing want, want it to keep going. It's very satisfying and, and cool. I just encourage people to dream and go for it. It's a scary way to live for some people, but it's also scary to think you didn't do it. <laughs> and you could have. And being so happy with it, you know, just, Quality is quality. And I think p people realize it, so they paid for it. They paid for a really great record, because it did come out amazing.